my name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to go with the Ironclad. Now, there's been an update of recent, uh, fixing a couple of issues with the game. That is, last episode you may have seen especially, wounds and anything that an enemy adds to your discard pile. In fact, anything that is added to your discard pile, like anger, for example, uh, d doesn't happen. Or didn't happen, rather. That's been fixed. And Nia now has a new option. You can lose your starting relic in order to obtain a random boss relic. Now, here's the thing. I think that's terrible. I think losing 6 HP at the end of every combat for a random boss relic, when the random boss relic might just fuck you over instantly. Like, uh, the dome. The you can no longer look at any of your enemy intents. Or you can no longer gain gold or you can no longer use potions all of those kinds of negative mixed with a positive effect random boss relics i don't really want them not really but i do want to try new things so oh that sucks there we go can no longer gain gold great well that's gonna make a lot of this a lot more difficult to choose I literally never want to go to a shop now. Well, no, I'll go to a shop once and I'll buy a removal of a card. Three question marks along this line, but one question mark and two rests along this line. That will eventually lead me to a shop and I don't want to go there. So I can go for a third rest and then I can cut across. It's actually kind of important that I get some rests in this run. Excuse me? Oh, I actually wasn't traveling. There we go. It's actually kind of important I get some rest in this run, because now I have four energy that I can work with. So... More expensive cards are now much more viable to me. It's more expensive cards mana-wise. I do want that 6 HP at the end of every fight, though. It's pretty big. <clears throat> All right, double strike, and we are out of here. I could go Perfected Strike and go for a Perfected Strike build. Sure. I mean, usually the problem with Perfected Strike is you can't play it alongside enough protection. Yeah, not too much a fan of getting Prayer Wheel there. Non-boss chest now contain cards. Doesn't really help me that much. Maybe this turns out to be ridiculously good. I have my doubts, though. Because I really like gold. Uh, oh, no! You stole gold from me and didn't give it back. Great. I, I now actually can't purchase... Hang on. Any of these? Yeah, I want twin strike. Upgrades my strike. Um. Yeah, the, the gold that was stolen from me by the looter, I actually don't get back. Because I can't gain gold. Well, that sucks. Now I don't have enough gold to buy a relic. That's 85 you need to buy a relic in a special event on the next floor. I also don't have enough gold to remove a card from my deck using the shop. But if I encounter the cleric, I can remove a card from my deck using that. So I'll keep that in mind. I kind of want Battle Trance just because I have more energy already, so more draw is now quite powerful for me. There we go. If I get Battle Trance in my next draw, we're pretty much set up. And I do. All right, this extra energy is working better than I thought it was going to. I don't want Shrug it off because I don't want extra draw. I don't want Hemokinesis because I can't keep up with health loss. And I don't want Bloodletting because I can't keep up with health loss. And I already have armor. Armor, sorry, I already have uh, energy. All right. First thing that I want to smith is going to be Perfected Strike. Then Bash. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. 
I might actually down both of my dex potions here. Okay. Just because otherwise I don't know if I'm going to be able to sustain the rest of the floor. <sighs> okay. It's Battle Trance. Now I've got my Perfected Strike for 27. I kind of want to double defend kill. Like, as little as that really does. Well, what do I mean it does little? I've already got, you know, six wounds in my discard pile now. So I'm going to start drawing them. That's no fun. Yeah. Damn it. Absolutely no defense available to me that turn. All my defense is still in my deck. Beautiful. Hey, look, it's all my defense. May as well go with those. Twin strike and strike in my next hand. That's 16 damage locked up. Gonna need two more strikes after that to kill, though. <laughs> Still not enough. Although I can completely protect myself. So over the course of this fight, the... Armor, the double dex potion has probably protected me from about... I want to say 10... 15 damage, maybe. Both of them, that is. Eh, it's okay. Upgrade bash. Double tap. Because we can double tap really expensive cards now. So we'll also smith to upgrade double tap. Treasure is strawberry. I would love to take Iron Wave or Warcry, but neither of them fit my build. I don't really want to take Clothesline either, to be honest. I'm still going to take Iron Wave, actually, just because I have the Double Tap already, and I can use that to be pretty greedily offensive as well as defensive. If I now, like, just... If I replace all of my defense with Iron Wave, then... This deck just becomes a lot better really, really quickly. Okay, so 10 and it makes vulnerable, so this is going to deal... Yeah, no, I can kill the front line instantly. And that's my most effective way of preventing damage, so I'll do it. I'm actually going to prevent 10 damage straight up using Block Potion here. Battle Trance. Double tap that Twin Strike. Yep. <clears throat> Double tap's pretty good. No. I don't really want anything that's not a strike card right now. Ugh. This is where I would have wanted that iron wave, by the way. Instantly knock you down. Then start working on you. Beautiful. We can ignore the mad gremlin in the back line and just go for the gremlin wizard for the next two turns as long as we hit up one block, which we can totally do. Double tap. Bash. And then defend. Double tapping that bash at the start of a fight, a boss fight I'm talking about, a boss or elite that is, uh, is going to be pretty ridiculous. Set up six turns of no defense. Once the verbal fencing starts commencing, there is no defense against the dense Jim Henson is dispensing. Wild Strike? I don't really want to put that in my deck. It is a strike card, yes, but... I don't want to put wounds in my deck. I also don't really want Pommel Strike, to be honest. Twin Strike got operated. That's pretty good. Singing Bowl. Beautiful, because we are rejecting cards left, right, and center. Okay, it's time to Smith. Let's upgrade Battle Trance. Pretty much the rest of these cards I want to remove from my deck, so I'm actually just going to lay low. 
my favorite character from that Stitch film. Right. Eh, eh, eh. Pretty big output of damage, but unfortunately, a lot of my defensive cards just got thrown. Yeah, I've got one defense card left in my deck, and this can be a really big hit. It's quite a big hit, in fact. I'm going to block five of it. Ow, 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 ow! I mean, it's Bash Iron Wave Strike. There's, there's going to be a lot of these hands that play themselves. The ordering won't matter. The... The ordering won't matter, say, for make sure you apply vulnerability first and draw first before you ever decide to do something. Okay, it looks like I'm actually going to speed out my opponent here. Having two turns of vulnerability is always going to be particularly helpful there. Uh, double tap the perfected strike probably kills, right? No, it doesn't. But if I double tap that and then the twin strike, it does. See? Pretty fast build. Ha, <laughs> no. Not today, Satan. I don't think I take any of these. Maybe Reaper. Just for some health. Because I have no other way to really heal myself. Alright, fine. I've been rejecting cards like that a lot more. Six cards a turn. I mean, I already have one energy plus. That's not a good idea. Runic Pyramid is, though. If I keep a very small deck, then Runic Pyramid plus Battle Trance just means that I have my whole deck in hand and choice of what I want to use every turn. I'm going to go with that. Oh, I cut off my own thought. I can't remember what it is. Whoops. Three questions, and then a rest, and then a boss, and then a rest. That's pretty good. This leads me to a shop that I don't want to go to. Yeah, it's definitely the hard left here. Battle Trance up. Hmm. So if I double tap my Iron Wave, I actually protect myself against all incoming damage. But I also kind of want to go for a kill, so... Double hit there. And then you go to the ground, and then this should kill. Beautiful. Only just by exactly one damage there. However, neither of these were buffing themselves, so I didn't really need to do anything to them. Sure. And strike and a strike. You go down to the ground. Then I'm just going to double strike you, because I can't put the other one to the ground in that turn. See, if all these defends were iron waves, especially upgraded ones, whoo boy, that would be good. Can I put you to the ground in any way? Not really. I mean, that's 13 against you, half of your HP. Like, I can put the bird to the ground, but then I can't kill the bird in front. So I think the only way that I can actually, like, fully protect myself here is that and then double block. I'll throw that strike in. Damn, dude. Take a day off. Never mind. You're dead. Woo. Runic Pyramid is working out quite well. Rampage is ridiculous. Because I'll have it in my hand always. No. It has to be Pommel Strike. We're going... We're going for this strike build. If it's ever happening, it's happening now. Remember, Ryan, kill the Mugger first. I probably could have considered using the Dex Potion there. Oh, great! I'm never getting this money back! Oh, cool! I'm now actually destitute. I will... I'm sad. Reaper will get all my health back, but... What health, basically? So I'm gonna double bash you. And... 
double twin strike the back line. Take another 10 damage, lose more money. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I now can't get anything from pretty much any avenue. I'll use Reaper first for the health, and then I can kill you. All right. That's kind of like a, a good progress gate. Like, it shows you how strong you are. Thunderclap is the only one of these that I would really take, and I would be taking it to make things vulnerable in an AoE and deal some AoE damage. Sure. Especially because now I can double tap Thunderclap and then Reaper and heal up ridiculously off of that. And I can just hold all of those in hand waiting for that turn. I'm actually going to drop double dex potion here. Because this is going to be a rough fight otherwise. Not in terms of, you know, not survivable, but in terms of it might kill me. Cool. Sure, I'll just double thunderclap the board. And strike you there. Easy. Alright. Battle trance in my next hand. Let me draw the whole deck. All right? And then the one card that I get from my discard pile being shuffled back in. No, I get two cards. Cool. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will only get two cards, in fact. Dang. Really want to double tap. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten double tap anyway, it turns out. Beautiful. I could use True Grit to work through my whole deck. It could become my only defense card. Yeah. Let's take a True Grit and upgrade it. This is so far outside of how I usually play this game that it terrifies me. Hey, remove a card from my deck. Beautiful. I think I remove a defense. Yeah, it has to be. Because I can't remove the strikes. Right? I will depower my transformer card. Transformer defend. Sure. Give me a strike. That's a dual wield. I mean, it creates strikes in a weird way. Not that good, though. Uh, let's smith the true grit so that I can actually choose what card I exhaust. That's ridiculously big. Oh, I was really hoping to double tap my uh, Thunderclap on the first turn. It wouldn't kill, though. Okay. Draw basically my whole deck. Iron Wave the front line. No, no, no. I double, I double up my Thunderclap here. It's not going to kill the front line. I'm going to have to finish you off. But it's got two vulnerability applied here. And then I use my weakest thing to leave my stronger things in my hand. Okay. With this much draw in my deck, I might actually need some more mana manipulation. Like, yeah, we just got stopped. Yikes. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay. It's got to be True Grit, one of the defends. And Iron Wave. So that's two of my money used. Iron Wave 7 plus... I can get to 21. I can take out the Mad Gremlin. I should. Now it's about whether or not I start working down the Gremlin Wizard or start defending myself. With Double Tap, Thunderclap still in my deck, I am going to defend. 
The reasoning behind this is if I draw Double Tap and Thunderclap in the same hand, or draw Battle Trance and then it draws me those, uh, I can... I can farm this target for health, basically. There we go. Okay. So double Tap, the Thunderclap. And then the Reaper gets Double Tapped as well. I heal back to entirely full HP. <sighs> Beautiful. And next turn, I actually have a kill on the Gremlin Leader. Yeah. There we go. Whew. I mean, this is working out a lot better than I thought it should. War paint upgrade two skills. Yeah. I don't really want another Reaper. I definitely can't take Clash. And Flex would kind of just weigh down my hand. But at the same time, Flex weighing down my hand isn't that bad, right? Because it's free. I can just consider it... Because I usually have too many cards. So I can just consider it a buff. Shovel is really good. Another upgraded perfected strike. Ooh, baby. <laughs> well, okay. Sometimes you can't really do anything. Hands like that are proof. Yeah, there's my wounds. And they actually got at it this time. I think I actually just have to race at this point. I can't out defend you at all. When I don't get Pommel Strike or Battle Trance, I'm actually quite weak. Okay. Flex. I can double tap an Iron Wave in order to give myself 14 block. My opponent's doing 24 damage this turn. A true grit. Removing something from my deck would actually create two copies of a power attack card in my hand so I could double up my Iron Wave. But I don't even have the hand size for that. Okay, it's, it's true grit removes that. Then it's just double tap the Iron Wave. I'm accepting one damage this turn effectively. Never mind. I didn't think that was going to kill. I forgot I had the extra strength on me. Bag of Marbles is really, really powerful. I don't... You know what? I will take and then upgrade a second True Grit, and those will be the only defense cards in my deck. Oh! Oh my god. If you give me the Necronomicon, we are off. Okay, that's pretty good too. And Curidon, uh, and Curidion, sorry, is start each combat with a random power card in your hand. It costs zero to play. Some of the power cards for this class, class, this character, are quite expensive. Omomori is completely excellent. Ah, shit, I didn't upgrade my True Grit. I need to do that as soon as possible. Negate that. No! I didn't get the Ectoplasm! I'm so used to just going for the option to get the... Extra... Ugh. Lame. I'm so used to going for the, uh, the... Become Cursed, get extra stuff option. That I just forgot that I had Ectoplasm. I just wanted to burn that defend. Unfortunately, we are taking a ridiculous amount of damage here. I mean, I want to double tap a pommel strike so that I can draw. Okay, it's battle trance. It's flex. Now, we still have the double tap active, so we can now thunderclap for the kill on the front line and start weakening the back line. I can't kill right now, 
So I'm going to true grit a normal strike out of my deck. She is going to lower the effectiveness of this perfected strike, but somehow I don't think that's good. Weird. There was an animation glitch there. Um, somehow I don't think that's going to be too effective in stopping me. Flex, perfected strike. Yeah. That'll do it. Nope. Eh, maybe Whirlwind? No, I think I have enough AoE with the double taps. I now have to rest here, which sucks, because I really want to dig and I really want to smith. But if I don't rest here, I'm almost certainly dead. Get that Dex on. Stop giving me fire breathing. I don't really want it. Also, I really need to find a way to get Battle Trance in my opening hand, because... Oh, never mind. We got double tap the... Strike. There we go. Now actually double this. Get a good kill there. Drink for a little defense. Okay. You can take Reaper. I don't actually think I'm going to be using Reaper over the course of the rest of the fight. Cool. You're dead to the AoE. Uh-huh. We get Reaper back. I'm going to draw four cards this turn, so I'm actually going to miss one. Mm-hmm. Let's quickly flex. True Grit, that defense out of my hand. Now I can Battle Trance for full value. I'm fully defended if I play this defense now. I do want to keep this Perfected Strike in my hand. Okay. Do that. Thunderclap. And I'm also going to Twin Strike you. Problem is, it's really, really difficult to get through my opponent's prevention of vulnerability. Oh, if I had one more energy. Double tap the perfected strike, double tap another perfected strike out afterwards. You know what I can do? I can dual will create two more perfected strikes in hand. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Each of them making the other more powerful. Basically, if I can survive next turn's Hyper Beam, I, I win. I just run away with this fight. I might not be able to, though. I mean, it has to be Iron Wave and then True Grit. Otherwise, I have no chance. All right. I'm very slightly still alive. You're stunned for a turn, thankfully. Pretty much. Mm. Can this hand kill? I thought it could. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, it can. <clears throat> I don't really know about all that. Yeah, I'm actually going to skip a card here. Ooh. Okay, obtain three curses and three relics. I will actually get two curses out of that. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. I mean... I don't really lose HP... No, I lose a lot of HP in this fight. But I also end up with too many cards in my hand, so I definitely don't want to transform more strikes into... Sure, Calling Bell. And Champion Belt, really, really good. Especially considering I have Bag of Marbles and I have Double Tap my AoE. And I have... Double Tap my AoE, sorry, my uh, thunder Thunderclap. Giving a bunch of vulnerability to everyone. Lantern's really, really good, especially considering now I have the gambling chip, and the gambling chip is going to give me the ability to choose my opening hand. 
a little bit. Okay, Time Eater is the boss we're versing at the very end here. Whenever a card is exhausted. I don't really exhaust cards. It costs zero to play. So I can actually just throw this back to try and find something better this turn. So I'm actually going to throw everything back. Yeah. Formal Strike. I kind of want to True Grit the bad True Grit out of my deck. That was a lot of damage. Consider... Bag of Marbles is really, really good. A lot of our power can just be demonstrated in opening hands. Bye bye. I could take Wild Strike here. Use it as a finisher. You know what? I'm taking it. It's upgraded as well. It's 17 damage for one energy. Okay, I'm going to dual worlds perfected. I'm going to use one there, one there. And then next turn, I can just perfect you. Come on, give me another perfected. Huh? No perfected, but definitely lethal. I mean... This deck is working too good for me to continue saying, oh, I mean, it's a bad deck. It's working. Uh, receive two madness. If I can, if I can lower the cost of a perfected strike in my deck, it's going to be ridiculous. Stop giving me dark embrace. I freaking hate it. It's not good for my deck. I'm sad about it. Um... Well, thanks, my dude. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm gonna need a... When we lose, we're gonna lose quickly. And it's gonna be things like that happening. God, that was a bad opening hand. Flex. Double tap, thunderclap. Take a lot of damage. Yeah. But then I kill you. Yeah, I'm not even going to get back to my Reaper. We might have to keep Reaper in some of these opening hands and just use it for healing. I really want to have some defense when I'm trying to hit you. Took a bit of damage there, but mostly fine. Bird face turn whenever I play a power gain 2 HP. I mean, that's going to be pretty good for me. Just because I always play a power for free at the start of every fight. Or I can, rather. Lose all gold, gain a relic. Great. Now I have zero gold. Zero, zero, finally. I want to go for a boss or two up... Oh, obviously two upgrades. What are you talking about? Because I can dig. Paper frog. Enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50. That's ridiculous for me. Oh, great. Let me just look at all the shit I can't buy. Bye. Peace. Tori is pretty powerful as well. Sharon's Ashes really wants me to run an exhaust build that I can't run. Kind of want to take a fire breathing in this deck, so I will, because it's upgraded and costs zero and it gives me two HP when I play it. Stop! What is this?
the fuck? Every single time it's Dark Embrace. Maybe it's because I'm not playing Dark Embrace that it's just not changing it? Or maybe I'm just ridiculously unlucky. That's also quite likely. Not the one I wanted you to double. Oh my god. Fuck off right to hell. Yeah, thanks for all that. Kind of don't want to double tap anything in this hand because there's nothing in this hand. I exhausted a card from my hand there and it triggered Sharon's Ash, but it didn't trigger the Dark Embrace for the reason that uh, Dark Embrace is prevented from drawing a card because I battle tranced earlier. Okay, it's double tap perfected, definitely. I gotta get some block out of this. Gonna be resting at a lot of camps soon. Oh boy. I had to bash there because I wanted to apply a weekend. Oh shit, look at this. Thunderclap, strike, strike. Defend. Then madness my reaper. Then dual will that reaper. Reap. 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 Heals. And then kill with AoE. All right. Madness is really powerful. Uh, I'm going to take a pommel strike there. Get my strike deck continuing that's ridiculous I kind of want to keep wild strike in my opening hand but I also want card draw desperately so never mind that's fine apparently I didn't want card draw I wanted to go fuck myself so good thing good thing that worked out just trying to keep them all weakened Oh man, double tap Reaper might heal me as much as it damages me. I mean, there's no choice in how I play this hand. At the very least, now we know this final enemy, the Repulsor in the back line, is going to die to any Exhausted. And these Days cards are going to exhaust themselves, so... I can now just pretty much ignore the back line. Man. I that hand does nothing. Well, at least it still killed the back line with the exhaust. Man. Give me my card draw, yo. None of that's my card draw. Just in case you thought it was. I mean, I now have lethal, but... You know, like, it's time to take damage, I guess. Eh, I only took three overall. It's pretty, pretty okay. Uh-uh. Don't want any of that. Uppercut's pretty good, but it's mostly for applying weak whilst you're applying vulnerable, but I'm already doing that, courtesy of the champion belt. Sure. I was never getting that HP back any other way. Duplicate a card in my deck. I really, like, I'd hate to duplicate Battle Trance. But I do need the card draw. 
Maybe I duplicate Pommel Strike. No, I already have a duplicated Pommel Strike. Yep. I don't want to have two Battle Trances, but I really need to include... Uh, I really need to draw them. Yay, gain 100 gold that I don't get. But I really need to make sure that I draw them. Just dig. Bottle Lightning. Put a Battle Trance in my opening hand. Fuck yes! Hell yeah! I'll keep Berserk. Okay. I can True Grit everything here. That's going to be pretty ridiculous. Hell yeah! Both of my curses are gone from my deck already. Yes. I, I think we're in. I think we're in. I don't actually want to madness these cards, but I do want to play them. I want to keep madness for expensive cards or card draw cards, especially like Pommel Strike. Madness is pretty good. Double tap and perfected strike costing nothing is ridiculous. I'm taking a lot of damage, but we're very close to blowing the opponent up. Double tech. Okay, hang on. 68. So. Ah, it worked out pretty well, I think. So I've only got four cards that I get to play next turn. But my opponent's going to try and rebuff, uh, rebuff, uh, heal themselves next turn. Battle chance doesn't work. Can I kill with this hand? Hang on. 76. I can flex a wild strike and I can duplicate a wild strike and then I can play... You know, three wild strikes uh, with 21. So 21, 3, 21, 3, 21, 3, 21, 3. Uh, that's not going to do it. That's 63, and then the AoE from Fire Breathing adds another three. If anything's going to do it, it's going to have to be a Thunderclap. There's no reason to count this. Wait, never mind. I have no chance. I have no chance because look at the 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 the, the. turn timer. All right, I'm just gonna thunderclap and reaper. Gets myself some HP. Ends my turn. Sh sh still shows it's my turn, but it's not. go big heal I need to do a lot of defending here yeah because all my big hitters are still left in my deck or I could try and dig for them how would I dig for them I need to get cheap cards out of my hand I need to make a bunch of space all right I am going to true grit I need to hit anything except for Battle Trance. Okay, that's fine. That removed three cards from my hand. Three cards once I play this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This draws four cards. So I need to get another thing out of my hand. All right. Wow. Everything I want is still left in my deck. That's ridiculous. All right, then. I just need to get things out of my hand, then. Let's defend. And... Leave it that. Leave that. Just trying to make space for things. I only get three draws. You're fucking kidding me. The three cards I want are on the exact bottom of the deck. 
All right, I need to use six cards this turn. I can't do that. That's literally not possible. All right. Um. Bash always happens there. I want to True Grit that dual wield out of my hand, actually. So my next turn is Double Tap, Perfected Strike. Perfected Strike will play twice. So that's three cards played and then another Perfected Strike. It probably will be stopped before it's played for the final time. So I can't use anything else right now. I have to wait. I don't want my turn ending not on my own terms. We double tap, perfected. I don't know if it would have cast the second. It looked like it would have, but I can totally see a situation where it goes, no, 12 cards and doesn't cast the second trigger of the double tap. That said, holy shit, this worked out really well. Maybe I need to be a little, uh, a little less hasty in calling ectoplasm horrible trash garbage. No. It can't be me that was wrong. It's the kids. All right, 629, and that is victory for the Ironclad. My name is Ben Rapson. The name of the game has been, holy shit, this is probably the fastest Ironclad run that I have on camera. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Anthony.